like to call the meeting. Recording in progress. 629 and a half. Um, additions to the agenda review. Okay, I see fire chief wants to discuss buying an ambulance. Oh, and grand list and air emission form and work in public right away, public uh, application. So that's it? That's yeah. it. That's it. Anybody else have any other further additions? Okay, we've got to put those in somewhere. And the next item is the minutes. Oh, review of minutes. That's where I got the review from. So run on sentence, sort of. <laughs> well, I saw additions to the agenda review, but I didn't realize there was additions to the agenda review of minutes. Gotcha. Okay, so we got minutes. We didn't review them last time. That was because just Zoe and I were here. And you want to do the ninth first? Where are they? Oh, I got it right here. Yep. Here we go. Motion to accept the minutes. Second. Uh, any further discussion? I would just ask that in the future that um, we use unanimously most of the time because that's appropriate instead of unanimous. Right. The motion was passed unanimously. Right. I see that. I'm not asking to, for it to be changed in this. <coughs> we don't have an official minutes taker. I appreciate it. Who is doing these minutes? I am. Yeah, I appreciate you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Stepping in and doing it on top of everything else you're doing. She may lie. Yes, thank you both of you. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> Any further discussion on the minutes? No? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have, they do have. Okay. And now we have the September 23rd minute. Motion to accept the minutes. Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? Um. I just really reading more carefully the second page, but you're reading more carefully. More carefully than what? <laughs> no, the all the other minutes? pages. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this a New Year's resolution or something? They can read more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> just the second page of this. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I was just reading where my name came up. And oh, your name came up. To, I wanted to make sure that I, Zoe Christensen, moved yeah. uh, appropriately. Oh, and okay. I think, yeah. I, I think I will find that time. I'd also request that the people making the second to the, the motions be in the minutes. That should be usually pretty standard. Yeah, there should be a second here. Yeah. Yeah. Did you like seeing your name in there? Is that the No, deal? it scared oh. me. So I oh, it scared sure, you? I had to make sure that everything was okay. You know? Oh, okay. Anything that's attended to your name, you want to make sure that it's accurate. Yeah. Oh. Wow, okay. All moves except the minutes on September 23rd. No, we already we, had we, that. We oh, we did? We're discussing we're that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wake yeah. up, so wake up. You. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so, you're so nervous, you're blocking things out. <laughs> she's nervous when she saw our names. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're discussing now. We're discussing them. Okay. okay. Any other discussion on the minutes? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 That was interesting. Uh, public comment. Public comment. Nada. Okay. Well, we're a little early, but. We're okay with that. The town clerk discussion regarding building and election security. I'm We're ready five for minutes you. early. Sure. Were you expecting someone else to tune in? No. No. Maybe a Do presidential I need someone candidate else? or something. Pardon? Maybe a presidential candidate or something. No, 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 no candidates. We have Rosie. We, have Rose. we don't need. We're, We're completely non. Rosie, we on it. Okay. So um, I'm coming to you tonight because I was um, 
given a $5,000 grant for election security and election supplies. Yay. Yay. Um, the Secretary of State's office has been emphasizing security and safety specifically this year and moving forward due to a number of factors, um, mostly because of election security itself. The scrutiny that's being <coughs> used on these elections, the way that people are behaving around the country with these elections. I attended a clerk <coughs> training um, a couple of weeks ago where they handed out Narcan for us because they need us to have it available in the event that there is a foreign substance of any kind in ballots that have been sealed and mailed into us. This actually happened in Albany, New York last year. So um, along with making new protocols for opening mail, election mail specifically, um, I thought that this grant came at a really opportune time. Um, I would like to use it to install some cameras. Over the last many years, there have been sort of informal discussions about cameras outside the building and things like that. Um, I'm required to have a camera on the ballot box, and I don't, because when it was installed, the town administrator said, well, it's within my line of sight, so uh, we're okay. Um, it's either supposed to be in the town clerk's line of sight or in, uh, on a camera. So that's one thing that I really must do in order to become compliant with the use of a drop box. Otherwise, we either A, remove the drop box completely, or B, it has to be reconfigured to a different spot. That's the one right out here? Right, oh. this blue drop box. Oh, camera sounds good. Um, there are a couple other things that we'd like to do. So the Center for, I can never, Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which is a part of Homeland Security, offers free walkthroughs to tell you, make recommendations. They are non-binding. We are not required to do anything that they recommend, but they want to give us the recommendation. So um, I had one of those walkthroughs happen here, and I brought them up to the school because that's our official polling place for election days. And they gave us a number of recommendations of which um, the biggest were cameras, uh, the lobby window, which is so nice and wide and welcoming and wonderful for people, um, really isn't that safe for the people who are inside the building. Um, and there were a number of other little things, but they recognize that we have limited resources. So basically, I picked and chose some of the things that I thought would be actually doable within this grant. So we have these uh, keypad door locks on the both, both of the outer doors. And we've had them for a long time. And the codes have been the same since at least seven years ago, because they've never changed since I started. Um, we have had opportunity to come in on Monday mornings and find the door unlocked, the front door unlocked. Right. We've had a whole lot of turnover over the last two and a half years, um, just internally. And it's not like I expect anybody is going to come in and say, oh, I remember the code for the door, and oh, I remember the code to the vault, and come in and destroy things. But it really makes sense at this point. We've got the capabilities of being able to use different codes for different people. And why not use it? So that's actually a freebie. Um, the third thing that we want to consider is some kind of option for the front window. Real quick thing. So for, for the codes, because mm -hmm. I have that in my house, everyone is issued a individual code, and then there's a log. So you know exactly who's. And when right. that person doesn't work here anymore, we can change that code. You can or just delete the eliminate code. that code. Right. So you would have a log. Yeah. The, um, the actual app for our doors is on the cell phone that Jen has, on the town administrator's cell phone. In any case, phone. you might want to... So we could actually just go into the app and create a listing of numbers. For numbers. So the question for me would be, do you want numbers for individual people, or do you want um, a same, the same number to be used for, say, the select board group? I guess my thought is that uh, it's a four-digit code. I don't know if that can be uh, changed with 
the same technology, but assuming we are limited to four-digit codes, mm -hmm. right now there is a one in 10,000 chance of somebody finding by random the code. Right. If we issue 200 codes to uh, people, or let's say 50 codes to people, then, then the chances are uh, much higher that they someone are. can come across it randomly. So well, I, right would, now. I would say let's, one, let's, let's change it from the defaults that we've had for, for all these years. Right. Great idea. Two, let's have a limited number of different codes. And okay. I, don't, I don't know whether that means five or ten, or what, but it's well, a small number. Well, we thought that there could be, you know, each individual person working in the office would have their own code. That's only five. Right? That's all, well, yeah. well, you've got to count the listers too. We'll oh, give yeah. the listers one, yeah, one code for the three yeah. of them, and the rest of us will. Sometimes I'm in here on weekends or nights, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. whatever. Yes, Scott. Uh, I'm going to push back for a little bit of disagree with Carl. I don't have a code to the front door. Why do I need one? I've never had one. I've been on the select board for oh, years. Yeah, because there is a select board code, doesn't mean you need to know it. Yeah. But, and how many individual code? How, is there, is there 20 people that would need to have access to this building? No, there really aren't. There are not that many. They, we have the Planning Commission that meets here at night. We and, have, and not everybody on the Planning Commission needs no, to have the code. No, just the chair. So yeah. therefore, I would I would recommend, like I have at home, have each person, you, whoever needs it, has an individual code, you have a log, mm -hmm. and they use their number. Okay, so group code. Basically, Not a group code. Just, well, a group just, code, but only certain people. No, in, individual code. Yeah. yeah. If individual you need code code for, individual code. For anyone who has the right. need to be in. Need, need to be code. I don't need to have a code. Right. If I need right. to get in, I'll call somebody. I think we're saying the same thing, basically. Oh, I thought you I said so. select board. Everybody in the select board would know the, would know the code. I, I said that there would be one code for the select board, not for every individual on the select board, but you don't need yeah. to know the, what the code is. So, but, but if you go for the select board, and Seth gets to know what it is, and if yeah. he's out of town, he tells Zoe. I, yeah, I disagree. Yeah, he, he thinks that, okay, I think so Zoe Seth. Zoe needs it. Yeah, so <coughs> Seth comes in is. on, on So the only to... reason I have it is I'm the backup if Seth doesn't available. Whatever, the, the point yeah. is, if for you need it, you have it. Right. And if Zoe needs it, she'll get a code. But what I'm saying is if each individual has a code, to me, it makes sense. Yeah, that's that what just easier for people to guess what the code is. That's what he's so, saying. Right? Somebody's code is right. going to work. Well, we have one code quite a few different board combinations and one we can has use, it. and it's. I, I, I wasn't that. planning to actually it's use it's incremental it's codes. It's 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 I was going to mix it up a little bit. Sure. So, sure. You um, really think somebody's going to? I agree with you. I don't think somebody's going to sit there. <laughs> And even if you have if you have nine nine hundred people with a code, everybody still has an individual code. Okay, well, we don't have to talk about this all night, but thank you, Scott. It just makes a lot of sense. It's a lot of God forbid something happens, you know that person instead of. Okay. Oh, I think what I'll do is I'll base it on the the people who I know have, yeah. have access to the building now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if other people need access, they can <clears> right. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Um, just let me know before, when you do it. I, I, I can will. get into the paper on the weekend. <laughs> well, you, and I may actually, I may actually contact you and see if you have a preference for a specific yeah, code. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because you are in and out of here a lot. Right. Okay, so the last thing is considering options for some kind of different setup for the front. I don't. What like do you mean, right here, the front? The lobby window. You know, our counter. Oh yeah, your counter. The counter. Yeah. It's really wide, it provides no, should somebody come in and decide that they wanted to cause harm, there's no barrier whatsoever. Um, I personally hope and feel like that may never happen, but we do have evidence of drug activity across the road on occasion, so. Um, so what do you propose? I'm not sure yet. Um, I actually had the Vermont State Police coming um, to make recommendations for what they've seen that work in other places. I still want it to feel warm and welcoming. I don't want people to feel like, you know, um, they're paying a traffic ticket and there's a, a metal grill they have to talk into. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I want to see if we can balance that a little bit. Um, the last thing that we're going to talk to the Vermont State Police about is the possibility of getting either installed or personally uh, personal lanyards with panic buttons. Um, they can program them so that they're good within 60 feet of the building. So if you accidentally wear it home, you're not going to cause, mm -hmm. cause an emergency call. Um, we are roughly 20 minutes out from any police assistance. I can't imagine we're going to need it, 
but just in case, I just want to see what they recommend, what other people Great. use. That's, that's a button you can push if someone comes Yeah, it's sort of like the help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, yeah, it. like the yeah. assisting. Good. But, you know, it might be that we just put one right underneath the front counter. Yeah. But if we don't want to get close to the front counter, we, it would be good to have another yeah. option. Mm -hmm. So we do have a big empty basement there, so a trap door right there. <laughs> Ooh, we can put a slide in. <laughs> I mean, these all seem like very practical, realistic. I have one, one other question is, was there any recommendation to, and I would hate to have it because to have on election day, mm -hmm. to have any sort of police effort? presence? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I called the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Um, I don't like the idea personally. I don't want people to feel like they're intimidated. And sometimes people feel intimidated when they yeah. see an armed officer. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do have a constable. He has no police power. He has no uniform. But he's a good guy, and he is able to kind of make sure that people park in the right place and don't okay. create a problem. Um, it would cost $1,200 to have Washington County Sheriff's there for the whole day, for the 12 hours. And, intimi and intimidating. Pardon? And possibly intimidating. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of backing down from that idea. If we were in a larger okay. you, space. You, you thought about it. I thought about it. Okay. I'm, unless you folks see any reason to I have anybody. Reason. I mean, I'd actually rather just ask people from the ambulance or the fire department to see if they want to volunteer at the polls. They could park fire truck out front. You know, I mean. It's kind of cool. And some sort of place. Right. Makes sense. Anyway. Thank you. So what, no cameras at the polling base? Wait. Well, the school doesn't have cameras for, for whatever reasons the school doesn't have cameras. Oh. Um, but they do have lockdown procedures and procedures that can can happen when there's an active problem assault, assault issue. Assault so what we do when we go up there is we piggyback on whatever their <coughs> protocol is. Yeah. Um, I would cool. think that you would want to have some sort of camera up there. That's what I was wondering. I mean, that, well, we that, get a, that to me makes more sense than... They do have a camera. Th I mean, they have cameras, but I don't have access to them. I understand. They have cameras in the school. But I'm thinking... Outside of the school. Oh, outside so, of the school. So I'm thinking in system. where you're doing the balloting, I think would be a good idea to have some sort of camera. I don't know. So would some, would well, people feel uncomfortable being... Well, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They're not that big, yeah. Not that big. You just no. have them just right there. I know. mean, we could put a game camera. Across yeah, that's the, what I'm saying. Yeah. So, why not? So that if somebody were to come in and be at the check-in and yeah. be right. irate or have right. an issue. All right. Sure. Like, that'd be a good idea. Mm -hmm. okay. Good idea. Thanks, Tom. Thank you for all the research, Rosie. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're saying that in order for us to have the Dropbox there, we have to get a camera. It's already there. Yeah. There was a drop box. No, I know, but yeah. in order to have it, we have to... Yeah. I have yeah, to have the camera on. No, I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. It's It's been okay. out of compliance for okay. yeah, we should have like four years so, so now, so it's time to do Even it. if it were in your line of sight, I mean, are, are you there 168 hours a week? No, I'm not, but, no. <laughs> I'm, but they don't... That That's the rule. Okay. We should, invest, that's pay, a stupid we should rule. investigate paying them more so she can stay there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah, can say that all the time. So I don't think that yeah, makes yeah, sense. Cameras, I, I recommend we should get Bruce back because he's the one that had the... On, the lion's so. sight? Yeah, that was... Well, he, he, and he doesn't really... I know. You can't I know. really see. Whatever. But yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're being taped. All right. So anyway, I just it's wanted to let you know that... So that these were some things that we were talking about implementing as a staff as well. It's not just Rosie's idea to do this. So, and, yeah. and you think it would probably be within that five thousand dollar budget? I think we part? can do it. Okay. Yeah, right. there there might be some issue. With, okay. The window is going to be the hardest thing because that may require some kind of construction. Okay. But we have a meeting in two weeks. So, no, I'm saying if there's any other advice you need or no, nope, okay, that's fine. Well, Okay, thank you. I'm excited about the Vermont State Police. He was supposed to have been here last week, but got called to the Plainfield uh, accident so that he couldn't visit with us. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. I probably went over. Oh, thank you. That's not too bad. We're still okay. Okay, good. You went over, but you had some cushion in you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can move to the next item. Town Garage Harvest Fest discussion. Pie contest presentation and free lunch. Yeah. Looking on the website, uh -huh. the banner at the top 
Town Garage Tour, November 2nd. I know. 24. It's confusing. Well, we shouldn't we have mm -hmm. Saturdays there? That'd be helpful. Instead of November's or in addition to? Well, we're going to have to do something because this I've is, discussed this with people. They said, well, it says November 2nd. This is what you should have yeah. both. You guys have got water going down, though. Oh, oh, my Gotta God. pick up the microphone. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, I'm thirsty. Thank <laughs> Okay, she's done. All right, you get to continue. We're good. Well, no, you made a good point in that this confusing. Well, yeah. it's not confusing, but it should, they should well, it be is. both. It's like we don't have this... We have yeah. October 12th, we have hand, we have November 2nd. Right. Yeah. We have two things. But people right. have said, oh, I think it's November 2nd on the, on the pie thing. I said, no, it's October 12th. Both, both should be up there. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will put out another front porch forum uh, advertisement. I've gotten just a couple people to respond to the pie contest. Really? Yeah. So I'm going to open it up to all desserts. I only have two. All desserts. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the heck's wrong with pies? Well. What do you mean, well? No one can make pies. The point is to. What are you going to do? Have jello? Can you get fly, uh, pies? That doesn't make any sense. Well, the point is to. It's got to be level, level playing field. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, did, I did another way to try to people. You don't think they opened the cabin pie <laughs> contest in jello, do you? No. Question, does, it, does anybody going to know about this event this Saturday? Oh, we're advertising. Yep. Yeah. It's been on front porch form at least once. Yeah. I'll Probably do it again tonight. tonight. Yeah. i got to get another judge, though. It's me and Andy and who else? Just you and my dad so far. <coughs> Are you a connoisseur of pies? Do you know the difference between flaky crust and non flaky? Oh, yeah. I do. Do you know the difference between, between butter crust and azola crust? Oh, very good. Yeah. Would you like about, to be a judge? <laughs> no, how about on the filling? Oh, yeah. Um, do you can't tell the difference between cornstarch and like, non cornstarch? Um, or too much cornstarch? Or too much cornstarch? Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, please. Or pie yeah. filling? Can we, can to fresh here? Fruit? Huh? can we continue here with the No, we're trying around. to find a judge. This is very pertinent to the can you take that? Can you take that offline and figure that out later? <laughs> this so? is on the agenda, Scott. It's it's on the agenda. Agenda. Problem. Oh, I just yeah. suggest you take it up. Now we're wasting time trying to, you know, ratchet your back. <laughs> All right, well, well, I guess we can't decide about the judge because one of the select board persons is objecting to our discussion. But okay, what's the next No, I'm, I'm not objecting. I was just wondering how long we're going to be talking about flaky or not. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, concerned, flaky? I'm concerned that we're going to have eight people. So well, we're trying. Could we also, in that matter, the besides the um, both dates, could we have a direct link in the banner to the garage webpage? Because that has so much information. I'm going to have to see if the functionality exists for okay. a link. In a banner, it might not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But if it does, I could. Okay. So I, got a question about, I got a question about the lunch. You did reach out to them and ask. I saw an email that you'd sent to the principal, I think, or the school about grilling or. Yeah, about they they okayed a barbecue if that's what you want to do. Yeah, if I, if I had to set up a barbecue outside, that's okay. They have one. Oh, they have one? Where's theirs? In, by the back door. I, mean, I know that school really well. There, there is a grill back there. Can we use that? Uh, I don't know. You can ask is them. Propane? Is there propane? Sorry? Is it propane? I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. It's right out the, the back door from the cafeteria. So on the lunch, <laughs> what are we thinking? I, mean, I can bring burger and grill some burger, cheeseburger or whatever. But Keep them frozen. Keep it frozen until people show up. <laughs> right. You should, have some, you should have some veggie burgers or something. The microwave. Like that. Microwave. Yeah. No, you, put fro you put frozen. Well, I usually just use hot can, water. Yeah. What's you, that? You just put frozen burgers on. I just, I'm just concerned that. Yeah, we don't have anybody. Yeah. Well, I can deal with that part. Right. I'm good at planning and for contingency type of things, but I'm just wondering about the menu. Are you taking care of, like? The hamburger rolls and right. Well, the that's, condiments that's why I'm things. trying to discuss this. Well, there's, there's I can bring. I can get some rolls. And yeah, just, I can bring some burger and I can bring the condiments. And, I I can ask a bakery in town about uh, the rolls. Okay. How many should I ask for? Well, who knows? Okay. It's twelve or twenty-four or 
thirty six or four dozen. Yeah. Worst case scenario, we can go to Dudley's and get more hamburger rolls. Yeah, right. It's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess I wouldn't get too worked up. Uh, <clears throat> no. I wish. But yeah. Everybody's so busy this time of year. Well, there's a, there's a, it's busy. apathy. A lot of other stuff. Going there's on a lot too. of other stuff going on. Is my point. It's also apathy, and nobody's going to know about it. Guaranteed. Well, I haven't seen a couple people know about it. Why don't you just say we've got bad voters? Just tell people you're a <laughs> Okay. Um, um, I'm just. Um, well, let's, let's um, keep the discussion on. So we should bring have cider or something for drinks and water. Cider, water, soda, or what do you think? Coffee. Coffee is a good thing to have. How do we, do we have like a big um, little wrap or, or water? I don't, I don't think we have anything. Have. I have a lot of stuff at my farm actually. And we do some stuff. We have a big thing for dispensing water. We can get coffee too actually. There's some paper products that I donated left over from my class right now that are here. So we've got serveware. Yeah. Glasses, plates. So. Yeah. We should have that. We have that available here, so I can make sure that gets to the school. Great. Okay, well, we better have some drinks. We should have coffee and water. Is water sure. potable at the school? Yes. We should okay. have tap water there, yeah. Yeah, they have, they have some filtered um, fountain, water fountains. Okay. Right, just to the right of the... Of the All right. Okay, well. If someone has a dispenser, I'd be happy to bring some ice. I have a water. <coughs> yeah. It's like a dispenser. That would right? probably be helpful. Turn the faucet on, push a button or something. Okay, well, I'll get some stuff together. And maybe I'll talk to Rosie and. I'm, I'm the person that's going to be there this weekend, so I'm, I'm making arrangements to get the key to the school. Get the what to school? The key to the school. Oh, okay. I no longer have um, access okay, to so the Okay, so you'll have a door. key. Okay. I have I have access to the interior doors, but not the exterior doors, so. Hmm. Should have a poster or something. Mm. No, I, it's, it's so important. It's just frustrating. I it's can make so a quick poster probably tonight or tomorrow morning and put it up at least at Dudley's. At least here on the bulletin yeah. board, yeah. post office. Yeah. You bring it here, we can post it in a few places. Great. Yeah. Okay, let's We're do just going to mail it to me. We should, you know, delineate the time. Five days away. Right. What's that? Five days away. We know. Yeah. Very good. Well, that's good. Get people's attention right before the event. Depends on if whether people will see it. Whether they will come is another question. Like, I advertise for a concert. People Once see. in front porch forum and like seventy people. Yeah, so porch porch forum. Depends back, on whether people yeah. want to come. We come here for media. Yeah. There's no reason for me to come here. Yeah, it's just the other side. Anyway, whatever. Well, hopefully we get more people. Than we've had in the past three people, four people. I think this was showing. We'll see what kind of response. I, in my post, I asked people to email me what they were going to bring for the contest. So in the next couple of days, if there are still very few submissions, then I can let people go, know. Then you're going to go for jello? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's really pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So Rosie, maybe I'll talk to you on Friday or something? Um, before Friday would be good. Yeah. Just to kind of round up everything. Yeah. You can also okay. stop at Dunkin' Donuts. Do you go by Dunkin' Donuts? So just. Pick up a couple, you know, we can pay for it. Pick up a couple things. Then. Yeah, seriously. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. It doesn't sound like a brew coffee here, easy. but pick up a couple of those and they'll give you cups and everything. Or turn to a local coffee provider. Yeah, I usually. Well, then you, you got to get out the brew. With you. He's saying it's already brewed. They, it's already brewed. They, they gonna, give it to you in a thermal it? container. Yeah, uh, can't we go to a coffee shop? Get, get it already brewed? We don't have a local coffee shop. Or a capital is what we usually do. Yeah. yeah. We do that at the farm, actually. We get it all brewed and uh, things. You know. yeah. Pretty good. It's really good, actually. I can look into that. The coffee okay. it, if you want to do that, rather than Dunkin' Donuts. It's pretty cool. better coffee. Do you know anybody from 802 Coffee? 802, <laughs> I do. 
That's, that was a joke. <laughs> so that's generally what we do at the farm. So we're doing an event, we can okay. I guess. That's great. No, that, that's, right that's wonderful. Coffee. Yeah. And we'll give them a little so we really should do that. And give some advertising. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, Good idea, Carl. So we'll be in touch. Eh? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Rosie, too. And if there's anything that some of us could do to help, and, you know, let us know earlier. I mean, I'm coming, but. Tell yeah. people. Word of mouth. Literally tell everyone. Bake a pie. You know. uh -oh. Bake a pie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what you can do. It's not that hard. I, I, it's not that I hard. Bake. I, I, I cook. Do you? Do you bake pie? Cooking isn't baking. I don't really, but I really bother you to make pies all the time. Okay, we'll see. Okay, all right. So you just, just said anything you can do to help make you pie. Did, right? Were you answering anything you can do to help? answer what he said? I did. And that was like backpedaling fast. I, I, did, I did put my foot in my mouth or my foot in my pie. <laughs> Okay, I'll see what you I can do. I'll see what I can do. I know that. Okay. Nice okay, so we, we're good on that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right on time. Discussion. Horn of the Moon discussion. Design, I mean. Discussion. Horn of the Moon design. RFP approval. So I'm just asking for approval to put an RFP out for the permanent fix on yeah. Horn of the Moon. Yeah. We did the temporary. Okay. And that would be covered by FEMA. Now that's nothing that we're going to do this year. <clears throat> no. Because we, we've got our hands full trying to take care of the Sanders Circle deal. Right. Right. So this is just for the design and engineering piece? To I mean, we can do that. Why not? Then we, it's going to be in place, but nothing's going to happen this year. Mm -hmm. Right. Or do you want to wait till later, and, you know, early, late winter? type of thing, because that, that's the construction season you're looking at. But I guess if you start it now, you know, it takes a little while. Right. So the idea is to get the engineering going, right. design and, and, place, and everything else, and then ready for... Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, sure. You have time. Get it done. So, Any emotion? Uh, well, we would approve something we haven't seen, so yeah. right. like we're just saying a consensus. Go ahead and yeah. Yeah. Put, a, put together a draft right. to look at and approve for the RFP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay, uh, Mr. Chair. Huh? Yes, sir. Um, we have a, an addition to the agenda, and All right. out of respect to our guests that are here, sure, let's do it. Um, can we add that to the agenda now instead of putting it at the end? Sure, we can do the uh, Angel. Since we don't have any other guests. So. Right. Oh, so. You have Deb online and you okay. have the ambulance folks here. So. Okay. And you're 10 minutes ahead of schedule. So you just do the ambulance thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, purchase okay. of an ambulance. Okay. okay. You could do the Lister thing. Well, yeah, whatever. whatever. Yeah, let's, sure. Let's do it. Because we're not expecting anybody else to be saying. Nope. Okay, so let's do the ambulance thing now. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I'm Albert Petrella, Chief. I got Thomas Parker, Deputy Chief, with me. Um, right now, we're looking at to replacing our oldest ambulance. Uh, we're not 100% sure yet, but that's the direction we're going right now. Um, it's 2010. And our newer one is a 2016, but our newer one has been plagued by a fuel system issue that we haven't been able to track down. And finally, we're able to track it down. And we're going to cost us 12, 13,000. So we're hoping that that resolves it and gets us over the hump to keep that thing going for seven more plus years. Um, so how, many, how many miles are on that? On the, on the truck with the position? Uh, Roughly? 40, 40 to 50,000. Okay, thank you. The one we're replacing is about 100. <coughs> thank you. And that's a four, is it? Yeah, yeah. 450. Yeah. And so you know, the goal is to try and replace the ambulances at 15 years of age. Um, and so one of the things we're looking to do if we to go ahead and purchase this new ambulance and to take the existing ambulance and then convert it to a utility vehicle that we could use to pull the trailer, but then with the compartmentation on that ambulance, we feel that would make it safer for us to access the stuff we carry that's now in a slide-out bed in the back of the pickup truck. 
which if it's pointing downhill, it comes at you like a freight train. If it's pointing uphill, you can't pull it out to get the stuff in front of your truck. So it's a challenge. And with the compartmentation on the ambulance, we feel that that would help us. And we believe by moving into a more of a third line role that even though it's not good to be an ambulance now, it would be good to be a utility vehicle. Uh, and I think that helps us hopefully solve the issues of the utility vehicle. Uh, need to replace that in the next couple of years because our bed is falling off on the back of that now. And so that truck needs serious work too. And the one we're looking at is out of, what's the name of the company again? Uh, Northeastern Rescue Vehicles. Northeastern Rescue Vehicles. They are out of the Syracuse, New York area. Uh, several area departments purchased from them. Um, they are exclusively, they do ambulances. They order a lot and have them coming in quite regularly with the idea of knowing that people want them and they're not going to sit on in, in, in their parking lot waiting to be called. Some of the other companies we deal with, they order ambulances based on contracts signed and they put in an order and you wait two, three years. So this one we seem like is the direction to go because A, we can get one much quicker. Um, we've got, actually got one on hold that isn't even in yet, but they've reserved it for us pending approval from the towns to go ahead and make that purchase. Then in that letter, I think I indicated we would put a hundred down, hundred thousand down, finance the balance for the seven-year loan, which we're coming off a loan now that this would just kind of take its place and continue um, that loan process. That's the truck that you bought for your home. The old the pumper. The, 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 no, the ambulance. Oh, the ambulance was on a loan? Yeah, the, the newest. The 16? Yeah. Was that new? That wasn't new, though. It was no, a demo. The demo was like three years old when we got it. We got it in like 2019, I believe it was. Okay. And how much did you pay for that one? Seemed like you'd never spent that much money for ambulances, like this thing. The 2010 was from Williston, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was a pretty good deal. Yeah, that was, that was almost a freebie yeah. deal. And how much was the 2016? I, or, don't, yeah, I don't remember. I have to look it up. Huh. Okay, what? Well. Where would this $100,000 come from? Is it already? Our capital reserve that we have. So you're not really asking the town for money? No, we're just asking the town permission. How much is the payment that you're going to drop? Um, we're at this day. We didn't, I haven't gotten numbers yet okay. from the bank. But so you finance $186,000 because it's two eighty six. dollars over seven years, is that what it looks like? A procedural question, does Callis also have to approve yes. this? Yes, they do. I thought so. We're on their agenda for this. Okay. Next and so with the payment that you're dropping, how much is that payment? Right. 2000 it's between 2000 and 2500 I believe. A year or a month? A month. A month. Oh, 2000 a month? <laughs> sure. That's a big payment. And that one? Yeah, but that ambulance didn't cost that much, as I remember. But maybe it did. Well, I don't know how much we put okay. down on it. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, we <coughs> found this at the time. Right. So. Makes sense. Thirty, twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, Carl. So you talked about um, keeping the existing ambulance that worked, and um, what does that do for the bay capacity over there? Where okay. are you going to put it? Oh no, it, w it would sit outside. It would take the place of our present utility. Okay. That we have. That will go away. Okay. So you, then, so you would have net the same number of trucks. What? The pickup you okay. mean? It's going to yeah. go away? Okay. And the uh, old ambulance is going to take its place? Yeah. Which is going to be the 2010? Yes. And what is it about the 2010 that makes it inappropriate for use as an ambulance, but appropriate for use as a utility truck? It'll mm -hmm. run a lot less as, as the utility truck. Okay. Instead it of being kind of on and run every day, uh -huh. so if it goes out 20 times a year, 25 times a year, yeah. you know, it's hard to say. Right. We expect it to last a lot longer. Than that what year is the pickup? It's a 2014. So the utility, the ambulance that you're 
going to have sitting outside is older. Right. But it being garage kept compared to utilities, it's outside yeah. all the time. Never, you know. But this is going to sit outside. It's going to deteriorate yeah. pretty quickly Yeah. In 2010. You know, and then the, it, it's... No vehicle likes to sit outside Yeah. And not get used. They just rust away. The exhaust, rust, everything. Not, nothing good. Breaks. Nothing good about it. In the 2010 Ford F4, F450, that's what it is? Yes. Yeah, they had the bad motors in them, right? That's, yeah. that's the biggest reason that we'd like to get it yeah, out all the time. It's the diesel, right? right? The it. diesel. Yeah. Yeah. diesel. Yeah, they weren't a good motor at all. Uh, huh. The option is to trade in the 2010 to the, this place, whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they Did gave you? us a trade price. Did they I what? believe they offered us ten thousand dollars for it. Oh, so we not very much. For that money, we're better off to not very much. try this option at least mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see how it works for us. Huh. Wow, that seems like a lot of money. Now, some other quotes that I got, and these are all brand new ambulances, zero yeah. mileage. Right. You know, other quotes I got from other companies. We're pushing over 350, 375, depending what options. Yeah. So this was the cheapest we could find of all the places we called. Yeah. And there are things that we wanted that make it a little more expensive, like having four wheel drive. Yeah. You know, so we want four wheel drive. We want the slightly bigger box, it gives us more room to maneuver inside. And those are all things that make the base price go up. And this has the equipment in it that you want, the roll-in. Remember the roll-in bed that you put in the other one? That uh, that'll be swapped out of the other box. Oh, okay. And that's part of the quote that you have. Is switching it. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're talking about with the power load transfer. Yeah. So they'll come right here out of New York and do it. <clears throat> huh. We figured in a jam, if we had to, if we did it right, we could make that rest, um, sorry, another, put it back to being an ambulance. We really got stuck. Because we had a period here a month ago that we were down and we didn't have an ambulance in service for two days and we had to rely on mutual aid. Both ambulances were down. One was what we thought was a simple brake job that then the suspension system didn't work which is the one we wanted to replace. And we lost that for two days when the other truck was down for no power issue, which we couldn't, we got back and they said, so they can't find anything wrong. We'll take it on the next call. So we can't go up quicker road. Huh. It would not make it up the hill. We had to turn around <coughs> quick, switch back to the other ambulance. Um, so, you know, that we want to get back to having one ambulance that we know we could really rely on, and that's yeah. why we're pushing to go towards a new one. I mean, we can look for demos or used ones, but then you never know what you get there. Yeah, all true. Huh. And what's the timeline on all this? You probably want it approved pretty quickly? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What does everyone think? To me, it's a no-brainer. That's why right, I hate that expression. That's what Larry, yeah. Larry, Larry Brown well, said to came to the Planning Commission. This is a no-brainer. Build this thing, and it's all the ambulance revenue is going to fund everything. Oh, it's going to be great. Of course, that didn't turn out that way. That was a no-brainer discussion. Anyway, <laughs> well, call, turn, call it whatever you whatever, want. Right. So, I, so I've seen like what Barry Town pays for ambulances. They have the smaller boxes because they're mainly using them for transfers um, and there's not a lot of difference. I think the last one I thought was 256 that they bought. It's probably more far off. Yeah. So, and I think they bought two together. I think that was a uh, together price. And just as an example, um, our truck we just bought the 20 for four yeah. 28 and change. Yeah. Cabot not, not Cat, sorry. Um, Peachum is looking to buy one, and they got a starting price of 650000 for basically our truck. Huh. 
Huh. So just in three, two years' time. That's inflationary price. pressures. What? Yeah. How much? How much money is in the capital fund? Your capital fund. Well, this Our is going to drain it. Our capital fund is right around, as of last month, about two twelve. I mean, on a cash flow basis, I guess it's going to work because you're dropping a payment and then you're going to, you know. To me, this solves two problems because they literally, he alluded to it, but the rust on that pickup, literally the tray is falling right through the bed. Oh. So, to me, it solves two problems versus having to buy two vehicles to buy one. Yeah, that, that ambulance at 2010 is not going to last very long park outside. It's already 14 years old, so it's a question. That, I mean, it'll last a year or two, but you'll be back looking for something. No question about that. It will not last. Do you, do you undercoat these? You have them undercoated? No. Yeah. You might consider doing that now. You, you should know. do that if you're buying a new big. I get the 10-year I mean, guarantee stuff. I, mean, I don't I do that grease bullshit. Element. <laughs> yeah, you get the 10-year. Stuff right from the yep. dealer, Whatever. put it on there. It's preventive maintenance that's... No, but I mean, they're not all undercoating is created equal. All right. Yeah, they got the grease. Oh, oh, you can do the grease undercoating every year. Well, okay. guess what? All right, I'm bringing up yeah. the issues. No, no, it's a good idea. So who do you use? I, when, I, when I buy a new vehicle, I get it done right there. Oh, yeah, right. Right. I go to the one by the creamy station. That's grease. That's a different deal. Okay. Yeah, right. I get the ten year anyway, we, we guarantee. We, we don't have to discuss this. It's late for us. We already bought the truck. I know. Okay. Oh, really? On which truck? The fire truck? What's that? The fire truck? No, I'm saying our 2010 ambulance. Oh, well, it's too late. Get the ten year. You can do the grease now. Yeah. Well, every year, but you know that's okay. a good idea. Yeah. Actually, it's not that expensive, and pressure wash it. Do it in the middle of summer. It's a good idea to do it. Absolutely. We still have the landlord guy in town. Land JD uh, runs Sanders Circle. Oh, yeah. He I think does he, undercoating with him. He was advertising last year. I don't know if he's still. Okay, I just want to bring up the issue. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can talk about it. It's fine. I think that's a good idea. But I'm just worried about that 2010 sitting outside. I just know how vehicles deteriorate when they're not being used and parked outside. They deteriorate yeah. quickly. But that's that's a moot point, actually. It's the 286,000. What do you think? But, yeah, my point is. If it gets us two, two or three years, yeah, then it's worth it to me over that pickup truck because I can do so much more. They can go to fire scenes and you can park it there. People can get inside it, take off their wet, cold gear, warm them up. It's got air conditioning. It's got heat in yeah. there. Um, you can carry more people in theory if you had to to get them somewhere yeah. than the pickup truck. I yeah. mean, there, there's many reasons that converting that ambulance to take the place of the utility pickup are a plus. The only negative, it doesn't have the back bed. They can just throw stuff in there yeah. kind of willy-nilly. But our back bed is so packed with stuff from forestry and different things yeah. that you'd have to empty all that out to have kind of a somewhat accessible bed. Well, it sounds like that pickup's got to go anyway because yeah. it's so rusty. Like, too yeah. bad. Yeah, okay, well, hmm. I make the motion that we allow the fire department to go ahead with this purchase. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you for your work. Good luck. Yeah. Say hi to Callis for us. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're going to head back to Barry Town. We got some guys doing training out there. Okay. Well, good luck with it all. All right. Thank yep. you. Thank you for coming in. Okay. So we have the Grand List Air and Emission Form. Where is that? Oh, right here. And, oh, this, is this from the uh, baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. From the house that burned down. Yeah. Yeah. Bring away. And so that was approved? Yeah. So the, the listers, I mean, what we decided on 
just informally there yeah. so that the listers would put this together and give it to the select board for approval. Okay. I thought it only made sense. And then yeah. uh, for going forward, uh, we're going to let Deb explain. She's she's the only one. Oh, oh, she's there. Oh, okay. oh she's she there. Oh, it looks like she's trying yeah. to come back in. Hi, Deb. But Hi. The, Hi. Is. So, uh, Bria and Elaine had a house fire and her double wide mobile home burned to the ground. We had a tax abatement hearing and we abated the tax for just the house, not the site improvements or the land, for the 2023 tax year. But for the 2024 tax year, she hasn't paid her taxes yet and it's not too late to amend the grant list through this errors and emissions process. So we can issue her a new tax bill with that $50,000 of value taken off because it's still not rebuilt. There's nothing there. I went out and took a site visit myself, and there's just a empty ground. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. I, I was at, I attended the hearing. I'll make a motion to amend um, the grand list to reflect the new valuation. Is that proper-ish language? Deb, is, is that proper? Is that the language you'd like? What language yes. would you suggest? Sure, okay. that's, that's fine. We're going to remove the, the uh, mobile home because it was destroyed by fire as of April 1st, which is the day on which we tax things. If it had burned on April 2nd, you'd have a different situation. Wow, that's crazy. But it was, it was gone by April 1st. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. And so it's basically going to change the grand list. Yeah. By oh, like $50,000. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You made the motion. Yes. It's, it's, I would just explain that the reason this has to be approved by the select board is that after we send out the tax bills and you have set the tax rate based on what the grand list is right. set at, yeah. for us to remove $50,000 is for us to remove some tax dollars that you were right. expecting to collect. But so Scott, we have to say it's okay. Scott, so you're going to um, make up the difference, right? If you want. Yeah, okay. Make Thank you. Thank you. No so we have a second? I would second it. Oh, you yeah. second? It's not a lot of money. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So be the bill. Aye. The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. Thank you, Deb. Yep. All right. And the other thing was, what did I do with this? Right away. Oh, the right away. I don't have that. Yes. Yeah, right away is that. Get too much paper here. Somebody oh, right here. Work in, private, work in public right away application. That's in North Street. Is that the work that we're doing on the culverts? No. No. This is a, this is a private residence. Oh, private residence. I, I, have, a, I have a question about this because I've been watching the work because it's just down the street. They're, what are, they're asking for um, something. The, the work is almost done, they've already excavated. They, they, Trucks have been out. Where is somewhere on North Street up? Yeah, it's before toward where you live, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's before Cum it's before Cummings, uh, is it? Oh, it's between Cummings and Sparrow Farm. No, no, no. It's past. It's on the way past. toward Montpelier. Oh, it's going down just before the Morris's Field. Right. Do you know? Do you know the house just set back? It's got the swimming pool. Yeah. It's the White House right in front of it. Okay. The driveway. Yeah. Why we? Why is this coming? Because the work's almost done. I'm curious on why this is coming to us now. Me too. For approval when? Well, I don't even know if it's been paid yet, but they've pull, pulled it out and then they had all the gravel. They had trucks up there for the last. Well, we at, least, at least it's coming to us. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people in town have paved their driveways yeah, so since just I got turned it. this like board in 2011. A lot of people do work in right away. I, I never, I remember seeing one of these before. Yeah, I've done work in the right away inadvertently. But. Well, I'm just curious why it's here. If it's well, I have no idea. Are we going to say no? It's it's a it's to to do do right happen. Way require <laughs> approval. Right. Okay. So, so I think we should approve it. But if you're, you know, you probably want to go see them. It sounds like. I mean, I and think we fine. should not approve it and then just see what happens. <laughs> no, no, I think we should approve it, but Scott should do some <laughs> detective work because he's wondering why they are asking. And <laughs> did, the, did the work start before? It's funny, he didn't want us to talk about the you know, pie contest. <laughs> I don't, but, but now he wants to talk about that's okay, Scott. Nine twenty-seven. That's a good question. Nine twenty-seven was the day it was received. 
Yeah, that maybe not. And maybe they so maybe they, they, they submitted it. And they it. submitted it. And then they've been doing the work. But they didn't ask for approval. They didn't wait they just, for approval. They just went ahead. So at its discretion, the select board may allow projects within the right of way that are for the public good, temporary in nature, and or do not unjustifiably interfere with the public use and maintenance of the right of way. I'd say that paving a driveway falls into the third category. Yeah. Make a motion to approve this. Second. I second. It's, oh, it's, it's a, Priority it's second. It's, it's, it's on a dirt road. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are changing here too. All in favor? Please say aye. Aye. Yeah, I was prepared to have to do that. <clears throat> and you can go down and ask them. Thanks, Stop. Robert. Thank them for submitting a permit. Yeah. So they may have submitted it. Have you ever seen one of these before? No. <laughs> and a lot of people work in the public right away. Yeah. A lot of farmers do all the time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But this doesn't impede anything because it's. Yeah. I've even dug up the road, but I guess now I yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's a dirt yeah. road without park. Okay. Yeah. Moving right along, Mr. Chairman. No, but they, they're doing it correctly, except they started the work before. We don't know. Of, we don't know when. But you should find out. Okay. Don't hold your breath. Okay. The next thing. Oh, well, now we're running late. Hudson House demo and abatement RFP approval. Uh, so the last select board meeting we had that no one attended except Zoe and myself. Uh, <laughs> I was there. It's in the minutes. <laughs> some, some, some of us told you we weren't going to be Correct. Here. That's okay. But I'm just <laughs> saying it's simple fact. There was only two of us here. <laughs> why are we getting grief? I don't know. <laughs> why what? Why we? Why is Tom and well, I you made that, First of all, when you sent out the email, you 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 had it the next day that you weren't going to be there, but it was actually twenty third. No, it was a few days before. Yeah, I actually let you know the meeting before. Yeah, yeah. You did. <laughs> okay. And it's in the minutes, actually. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just stating a simple fact <laughs> that there was two of us here at the meeting, and we had to call Carl in for, and he was. I sick. think you're making this simple is not so simple right now. <laughs> I think you're complicating your simple. Okay. Uh, I so mean, I need to uh, laugh, though, don't I? Do you maybe laugh? Uh, well, I have to laugh off the clock. Tears of tears of yeah. joy. Yeah. Remember so, the press, this is a silly okay, so let's cut had. through the confusion. <laughs> so I brought up the fact that actually the Hudson House had another facet to it to purchase, was that it does provide access to the land down there. Right. So I asked Zoe on the Planning Commission to look into that thought, which was Bruce had mentioned he won he was thinking that it'd be nice if the town had a road that went down through there and came back over here and that land could be developed down there. That was the, that was a thought at that point. So I don't know, there is some developable land. I looked on the map and it looks like some of it is out of floodway. We did look at the map and I'm pretty sure it's also in the it's in the commercial district too, isn't it? Think, or is I it, it's in the village zoning. It's in the it's village, village zoning. zoning. Um, right. And so, it's out of the flood hazard. So that is out of the flood plane? Yeah. Yeah, some of it's just out barely. Of the flood. Just barely. It yeah. really, it's it's be darn close. Yeah, but that flood plane <laughs> thing is, you know, like, Montaigne uh, over here weaseled around it, and I guess there's a possibility Many things you can are get a change. Oh, you can get around it. Yeah. You can get around it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that was the thought um, that I brought up because I'd forgotten that. So, that's where it stands. I could not check in on the Planning Commission last week because I had to go get antibiotics. But, um... What do you, I, so, so the, the question is, do we keep that? I mean, what happened was, Guthrie and I met about the building that we wanted, the, you know, accessory building, mm -hmm. and we decided we could put it over there, and then that would free that site up and just sell the whole thing. What's over there? Over there is the La Perle site where we okay. stack gravel. Okay. So we, uh, we could just put an accessory building over there, uh -huh. right. and that frees up that site, and we just sell the whole thing. The town sliver, which is 65 by 100, mm -hmm. and the rest of the sell. But then I remembered that, oh, shit, this is access to land that could be developed in the future yeah. and maybe make the town grow a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's where that's at. Mm -hmm. So then I tasked Zoe with, hey, the Planning Commission needs to look at that to see if that's a possibility. Okay. And, uh, so that's what's at. For them to get back to us, I think, oh, we, should. I think we need to. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like to I'll know email, what they email. think of that yeah, because I'll it really email. is a good idea, actually. If there's land there, well, let's see what their findings are. Right. Yeah. Apologies for the delay. Yeah. We occasionally think alike. 
Yeah, we shouldn't think of like too much because that's scary. But anyway, um, I'm in total agreement with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so all we have left. There's no other additions, I believe. I think we went through all of them, and we just have warrants and the town administrative report. The warrants are here, so I can listen and also do this at the same time. Okay. <laughs> So as far as Sanders, Sanders Circle culvert replacement, the construction is due to start this week. Town Hill paving um, is going to start also this week, um, milling and cold cleaning, 10-7 um, and 10-9. Paving is starting 10-22, and the shoulders of Town Hill starts 10-28. Uh, we have the funding request study committee applications for the 25K due this Friday. So far, we received six applications, and then the rest are reminders. So uh, coming this Thursday, we have the emergency preparedness committee where we're putting together the LHMP, um, and that's at 4 p.m. this Thursday at the schoolhouse at the... Um, Four corners. Four so. corners. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was trying to name. And um, and then for the town garage, we have three events coming up. Uh, we have the Harvest Fest that we mentioned earlier, October twelfth, ten a.m. Pie contest, eleven to twelve thirty. The presentation and pie contest winner will be selected by a three judge panel, and twelve thirty will be the free lunch. And then for November 2nd, we have a town garage tour starting 8.30 to 9.45 with light refreshments. And then a, a town garage forum at the elementary school afterward at 10 a.m. And then another reminder that we're voting on the town garage November 5th, uh, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's it. Okay. Did, were you able to look into getting, you know, one of those signs out front that we had talked about, you know, lit, whatever. I thought, I thought I saw you mention that. I looked into some of that with, um, I mean, I know it's kind of, the, the, I saw the, the nice lit signs are yeah. incredibly expensive yeah. and mm -hmm. I'm not sure how yeah. well we'd be able to make it work with the snow plows coming by so, so close. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> if I have any extra money out of this grant, oh. I'm looking at getting one of them that's similar to what Dudley's has with the little letters that you yeah, can put in. Sure. Because we could use it for many other things as uh, well. Without question, no, not just with this show. Sure. Yeah, tax tax money do whatever. Okay. License you. your dog. Do what? License your dog. So I got a question on the horn of the moon repair. I mean I see there was a check written to farms for like nine thousand something and there's a check written for Mike Brown. Or seven thousand something, but how much did it cost us total to do that repair down there? Um, I sent an email previously, um, and I believe it was around thirty k total. Total. But okay. I did send an email with all the breakdown that came from the road foreman. Okay, so that's in my email or something. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of emails from you. I don't always um, look at them. <laughs> I try to, but it's like, oh shit, there's six emails. <laughs> I can resend it. Oh no, this is mine. No, it says your name right on Yeah, and then I've got to finish it. But, uh, okay, so that's all reimbursable from FEMA? Right. Okay. That would do 90% or? Yeah, um, if there's a percentage breakdown. Yeah. Okay. On that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think the front, the top. All right. And so the next step is Turn that the you're talking about to make page. a more permanent Turn the page. Fix. Yeah, no. so we got three out not for the, the permanent fix. Um, I'm not sure that's exact language that FEMA <laughs> uses, but for the long term fix. Yeah. Um, and then we do an RFP yeah. for engineering to get yeah. that started. Yeah, yeah, right. right. And then the permitting okay. and engineering yeah. design would be the first step. Yep. All right. Sounds good. And then the sander circle repair, where are we on that? Like, so I that's assume. supposed to start this week. Um, so this looks like the ones we're supposed to start. There was a question about okay. rebar uh, that was answered the right today. So okay. there shouldn't be any obstacles, and it should start this week. Oh, good. 
Unless Seth is going. Nice. Are we supposed What's to sign? That? I'm sorry. Are we supposed to sign something for errors, errors and omissions or something? Um, that gets filed with the clerk's office by the by so, the listers. So the answer is no. Right. So they yes. they've got there a there bunch, bunch of stuff there on there. There is a place for yeah. Is there? Both All of us are supposed to sign on it. Okay. It was my in my apologies. packet, and the same with the right away. The right away probably needs to be signed right away. I haven't done an E and O in a long time. Have you already approved your minutes? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I wanted to mention that all three listers were present in person at the last meeting, and they're not mentioned. Oh, this being. Oh, they're not mentioned. <laughs> <clears throat> they sign in. Are you getting nervous? No, we didn't. I'm going to send it out to her while you're doing work. That's your job. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. One more sign. Oh, this is the right away. Yeah. Janet Rosie, did I send you a picture of one of those uh, non electric little cool signs with plastic letters on it? No. Okay. I don't think you signed it. I took one immediately did. after our last oh, you did? meeting. Yeah. I don't find it at my photo roll now. Did. Carl, I will, I will be past it sometime later on this week. I'll we'll try it again. Thank you. Is there anything else? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, what? Motion to go. Motion to have dinner. <laughs> we have a second on that? A second. <laughs> All those in favor, please say aye. 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 It's not negotiable. It's not negotiable. <laughs> okay.